I enjoy using marijuana le recreationally, uh, just straight up. I consume every day. It's not your pot smoking of the 60s. It's a new day. People are smoking at home legally, and many of those people are parents. She's my little buddy, like, uh, is my little shadow. Rory Dowd is the father of 11-year-old Riku. The two are quite a pair. It's just fun to hang out with my dad. Dowd's music relaxes him, but so does his marijuana. I'm a daily user. Um, I enjoy, you know, t smoking a bowl or eating an edible um, when I come home from work. Dowd does not use marijuana in front of his daughter but she knows he does it. Even if I didn't know where it was, I, I wouldn't touch it. I know it's just like alcohol. It's not something meant for kids. Don't agree with pot smoking parents? Dowd tells the naysayers it's more common than you might think. Yeah, the taboo and stigma, I think it definitely has lessened very much in the last 20 years. And for anybody who's still on the other side of that taboo and stigma, I keep up. Christine and Andre Gamez are even more open about cannabis with their kid. This is not a big deal to him. They're parents of seven-year-old Gabriel. Yep. <laughs> they too are daily users. When I get home and I have, um, you know, we have our smoke session, it'd be like somebody picking up their bottle of wine and having a, having a drink or having their beer after work at a bar. The Gamezes keep their paraphernalia out in the open, just steps away from their son. I know I'm not allowed to use it because I'm not old enough. But the couple argues it's similar to leaving booze out on the counter or cigarettes in reach. I don't hide anything from him, but I also feel like it's responsible parenting to not be, you know, sitting on the couch, I'm not smoking a joint with him right here. I feel like we're not pressuring him to know exactly what we're doing or what it is. But their stash of cannabis is tucked away. We have our flower here. Um, you know, we have some of our concentrates. Christine Gamez is a big believer in the products. Anything from smoking a joint to smoking out of a bong to do, you know, using concentrates and dabbing to just topical lotions and bath salts. And they're growing pot plants in the bathroom. This one is uh, cit uh, citrus. Christine says the products work. She had brain surgery years ago and found medicinal relief in THC, the chemical compound found in cannabis. Just two days after surgery, she dumped the morphine and all other prescribed drugs. It resolved my problem in mock speed. I mean, it gives me goosebumps just talking about it. Like, I, faster than my doctors can explain. She is such a believer in the products, she got a job as a manager at Bloom Dispensary. What can I do for you today? Bloom staff say, it's your neighbors. Graham and the blackjack for you. Your doctors, your teachers who could be using cannabis. All walks of life, yes, from... Um, you got your grandmas coming in with their kids. Some people may never be on board with recreational marijuana use, but these parents say it can be safe, it can be managed, and remember, it's legal. In Reno, Kim Burroughs reporting.